Hey, 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 Capricorn, this is your sacred scribe here, ready to do your Monday, March 9th to the 10th, into the tarot read. This is for Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Jupiter, and North Node. This will not resonate with everybody, but hopefully it will with you today. Please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe right down below if you would before you leave. I do appreciate it. And thank you so much for your all your like, shares, and subscriptions and comment as well. I want to hear from you guys. Let me know if this resonates with you and hit that notification bell in the corner, please. If you would, I do appreciate it. Okay, Capricorn, Capricorn, let's see what up for you. Remember energy and time are fluid, so feel free to switch up the roles as you deem necessary and know that this can be past, present, or future. If you want a more personal reading, so it's more specific to your story, you can look in the description box below and the link to my Etsy shop is there. Okay, what's going on for Capricorn? I'm going to get a couple of uh, cards here. And Spirit has a message for you. Actually, they seem a little... They're like, hurry up, hurry up. I'm going to get a message from Spirit before I begin here. Okay, two more cards. We've got the Ace of Swords, the World card, the Two of Wands. One more card, please. One more card. One more card. Okay. The Six of Wands. Wow. Okay, let's get this message out. They want it out. Okay, go forward in the knowing that you are the one. The one for what? Okay, whatever it is that you're pursuing, it could be a specific job. That's what I'm feeling. They're saying, know that you you were the one meant for whatever job that it is that you're pursuing. Like, you need to be confident in that. Whatever it is you're pursuing, you need to know that you are the one. <laughs> That's what they keep saying. You are the one. Keep your level-headedness about you, Capricorn. And this will keep you in line with this job, with whatever it is that you're pursuing. So keep, keep the balance, okay? And of course, as always, body, mind, and spirit, yes. Hurry up. They're saying lickety split. Hurry up. I don't I don't know what they mean by hurry up. Maybe that makes sense to you. Hurry up and doing something. Is this in relation to the job? No. Is this in relation to love? Yes. Okay. Hurry up. Hurry up. Don't know what that means, but hopefully it makes sense to you guys. Oh, see, that's why they were, they were like, I felt rushed because they're like, hurry up, hurry up, um, get the cards out because we need to get a message out. And that's one of the messages. They're pretty adamant about this message too. So really think about this Capricorn and what it means to you. Okay. Because they're saying, hurry up, like right now I'm feeling, do it now. This is in relation to love, so whatever's happening in your love life, Capricorn, it should make sense to you. Some of you, anyway. Okay. You have a new cycle that's beginning, that's for sure. And you have victory in sight, victory, success. Some of you could be being seen by others. Notice he's in a parade, right? Being admired by others. That is possible. 
This is also Saturn. You could be dealing with this fixed sign when it comes to love. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. I'm uh, sorry. Aries, Leo, Scorpio, or Aquarius. Yeah, I'm feeling that some of you um, have been at a crossroads. See? Two roads. And you're clear about which road you're taking with this Ace of Swords. You have clarity and truth behind this. That's fire energy, air energy, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, and Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Okay. So let's talk about the world card. Tell me about this. This could be somebody at a distance as well. Yeah. Reuniting possibly can be on your mind. An apology. Clarify the Six of Wands. The Hierophant. This could be the other individual. Taurus card. Um, Taurus card. Uh, the Hierophant talks about marriage commitment. Doesn't have to be a Taurus. Talks about a spiritual connection. Clarify this. Six of Wands. Five of Oops, five hair bonds. Clarify this. What about this? Oh, this person could be seen because it's over the the ace of cups. You have a lot of love for this individual. Okay, tell me about the two of wands. The emperor, yeah, it's like you need to bring you need to pull the emperor out of your ass to make this decision. This is Aries energy, Taurus energy. Usually Aries for me as a reader. You could have that in your chart. But it's like the Emperor is very decisive, takes control, takes decisive action, and goes. It's like, yep, I know what I want. I'm going to get it. That's the Emperor. Confidence. Confidence in knowing um, what they, they're leaders. They're not followers. And they don't give a shit what everybody else says. They just don't. Ace of Swords. Tell me about the Ace of Swords for Capricorn. Ooh, Five of Pentacles. This is truth and clarity surrounding feeling abandoned, being left out in the cold. Either you left somebody out in the cold or they left you out in the cold. Um, that's feeling of lack temperance that's the card of Sagittarius that's also patience now you have how many fives one two okay it's, uh, no you've got three expect the unexpected Capricorn whatever that is but they're saying have patience and healing for some of you you're healing over this or they're helping you to heal over this Nine of Pentacles, Hermit, yeah, okay, and Wheel of Fortune, yeah. So I feel this has already happened or this is happening now that Archangel Michael has helped you to heal and become strong and confident, independent, autonomous, and get you on your path, on this fate train, right? This is Jupiter Capricorn. Jupiter is in Capricorn, is in your sign right now, okay? This is the planet of luck. Okay, so I feel like some of you have been in hermit mode. You've went deep within. You've shown the lights on the shadow side of the self. And you've come up with epiphanies and clarity with this ace of swords. So tell me, what is your um, advice for Capricorn? What is advice for Capricorn? far as love is concerned what is Capricorn's advice knight of swords well that's hurry up <laughs> that is hurry up the knight of swords comes in quick although knight of swords can be brash so be careful think before you speak Capricorn right this is the communicative card this is um, uh, Gemini Libra Aquarius energy can I have another card of advice please for Capricorn regarding love 
advice for Capricorn regarding love. One more card. The chariot. Yeah, this is moving. This is move. This is journey. This is take the reins of your life and go in a balanced way, though, in a balanced way, right? This could be a representative of yin and yang. This is also spiritual with the number seven here. Do you have any other sevens? Mm, nope. Nope. Okay. So hurry up. That's what they're saying. Hurry up, Capricorn. That's your message. And they were in a hurry to say it. So, all right, Cappies, please drop a like below, share, and subscribe if you already haven't. Also, if you're interested in a personal reading so that it makes sense to you and is more personalized to your story, the link is in the description box below. Hit that notification bell, please. You have a fantastic day. And I will talk to you guys tomorrow.